The path may seem familiar, but the journey never grows old. For the sixth straight year, Lauren Book and her legion of dedicated followers and supporters will make the 1,500-mile journey from the Florida Keys to Tallahassee. Forever inspired by her own life-changing experience, she walks in hopes of preventing and protecting those she vigorously works to help avoid following in her footsteps of sexual abuse. I walk to prevent childhood sexual abuse and I walk for the 42 million survivors of childhood sexual abuse in this country and I walk for myself. Her mission takes place each spring, a time that annually represents the return of hope and a renewal of commitment. The walk overlaps the months of March and April and coincides very purposefully with the national awareness campaigns for both child abuse prevention and sexual assault awareness. The journey that each year leads them to the steps of the state capitol takes 42 days, one for each of the 42 million survivors she walks for and continues the fight to protect. Having started her foundation in 2007, Lauren has quickly become the national face behind an ever-empowering movement to raise awareness. Four years ago, Lauren authored a book, It's Okay to Tell, that has since come to symbolize her movement's message, a message that is increasingly spreading beyond the boundaries of South Florida. I walk because I think every kid deserves a chance at a happy childhood. I love to walk to help bring hope to other kids and adults that never disclosed about abuse and let them know that it is okay to tell. Because Lauren's kids give survivors a voice. This is why I walk. That's why I walk. That's why I walk. The accolades that have deservedly come her way, including her most recent honor as the winner as the National Women of Worth recipient, all serve to elevate the attention brought to the cause. For its exceptionally humble ambassador, however, there remain 42 million reasons to keep her feet on the ground, focusing always on the work still left to do. The walk helps me usher forward, and that's what this is about. We're creating an army, and we're making change, and it's about showing those survivors that this is about them. People care. People from the Miami Heat care. Coach Spolstra, Andy Ellisberg, everybody, we care. They care about you. It's okay to tell, share your stories, and let's become thriving survivors together. At the end of this, her sixth Walk in My Shoes journey, Lauren will have put nearly 7,500 miles of pavement behind her, leaving in her wake a trail of people forever impacted and inspired by her dedication. And while the focus of her fight is currently being waged with her feet, the battle is one filled with the soul of a leader, passionate about its purpose. You know what, the work is never done. And really this is, while it's very, very difficult, very trying, we do this to bring voice to the voiceless, to empower survivors. And I'm just so proud. I'm proud to be here where I'm from. I'm proud to be a part of the Heat family and so grateful and humbled for their support, not only in this community but beyond.